Aviation is essential to the European economy. The sector employs 2 million people and generates 110 billion euros a year. It also helps boost Europe's global presence by driving trade and tourism. But none of this should be taken for granted. The sector faces a growing number of challenges and fierce global competition. That's why the European Commission is proposing a new aviation strategy to keep Europe flying high. Negotiating new aviation agreements with key countries and regions will open up new markets and create business opportunities for European companies. Citizens will benefit from more flights, new routes and cheaper prices. European air traffic is expected to increase by 50% by 2035. Europe needs to plan ahead to accommodate these new flights. The alternative is that congestion will cause delays and superfluous CO2 emissions and Europe will lose out on billions of revenues and thousands of jobs. European aviation has some of the highest standards in the world, be it for safety and security, environmental protection, social issues and passenger rights. But maintaining this leadership means adapting continuously. For instance, we want to reduce the burden of security controls at airports through the use of new technologies. Keeping Europe at the forefront of innovation today is the best way to create the jobs of tomorrow. Drones offer tremendous new opportunities and we must unleash their full economic potential. That's why the Commission is proposing a framework to ensure legal certainty for investors and safety. The goal of the aviation strategy is to strengthen the entire EU air transport value network. Europe must be a leading player in international aviation and a global model for sustainable aviation with a high level of services and ambitious EU standards. We want all Europeans to enjoy more routes at lower prices and with the highest standards worldwide. So, fasten your seatbelts. <laughs>